Hey everybody, Jason Johnston here, and today we are going to look at how to integrate Padlet into Canvas. We are basically going to go through two steps, which is how to create a Padlet at Padlet.com, and then how to integrate it into Canvas Shell using the Redirect app. So first, we'll go over to Padlet.com. If you have not created an account, uh, go ahead and do that now. You can pause the video. Padlet.com, and I just use my Google sign-in in order to make my account pretty quickly and easily. I'm going to click on Make a Padlet. You can create different kinds of Padlets. For today, I'm going to just create a wall of some sort. I'm going to call it my Post-it board. And then I'm going to just select one of the many backgrounds that you could select for the post-it board. I'm going to make it a secret link, but anybody that has a link can write onto it. I'm going to start posting. That's how easy it is. There are lots of other aspects to Padlet you can look at, but for today's tutorial I just wanted to look at creating a quick Padlet. We're going to leave this tab open because we're going to use this URL in a moment. I'm going to go back over here to my Canvas shell. First thing that you do, under Settings, click on the Apps tab, and you're going to search for Redirect. You should have a tool that comes up like this, the Redirect tool. Basically, it's used to adding external web resources into your Canvas shell, but there's a couple other options that you can use while you do this that make it very handy for something like creating a post-it board. So I'm going to click on there. I'm going to add the app. I'm going to rename it Post-it Board. I'm going to take off Force Open a New Tab. This way, it will integrate right into Canvas. And I'm going to click on Show in Course Navigation. This will give me a tab along the side. I'm going to go back over to my Post-it board. I select, right click, copy or control C that URL. I'm going to paste that right there. And then I'm going to add the app. You'll see the success message at the top. You will not see the tab on the left hand side until you refresh the page then you will see the tab. Once you click on the tab, it should load up right into Canvas. This should be the same experience that your students will get. And now they'll be able to click on and be able to add some sort of note onto the post-it board. You can add a variety of posts, an upload, a link. You can search the web for an image, a video, a GIF, and add them quite easily onto the board. I hope this was helpful, adding a post-it board using Padlet directly into Canvas, and that you can use it in your Canvas courses to try to encourage the students to interact a little bit more with one another and with you in the online environment. Please post a comment below. Contact me if you have any questions.